M Bays is a regional area located in Oori zonal area of Imo State, southeastern Nigeria. Set in the heart of Igboland, it includes several towns and cities. The name, M Bays, was derived from five clans Ajbaha, Ahiara, Ekwarazu, Ezi na Ihite, and Oke Uvuru. The area of Mbase, the three local government areas, are about 404 square kilometers. Aboh Mbase, 185 square kilometers. Ahiazu Mbase, 111 square kilometers. Ezinihit Mbase, 108 square kilometers. Topic: History. Topic. M. Bays is an amalgam of indigenous, autochthonous clans, connected by intermarriage, and situated in approximate area the heartland of Igboland. It occupies an area of 404 square kilometers. The quiddity of M. Bays is that this homogeneous group of more than 1,000 persons per square kilometer is the most densely populated area in West Africa. The population of M. Bays as at 2006 was estimated to be 611,204 people Agulana, 2008. Until the advent of European adventurers into Nigeria, the main source of income in Mbase was subsistent agriculture. In Igboland, no centralized political system existed. The system of government depended largely on kinship relations and shared custom. The village group was the highest level of socio-political organization with the Amala exercising all power Joku 2003. The weekly gathering of the male family members around the fresh palm wine keg or Manya Orie constituted the forum for discussing matters. Recently, the Aladinma of the autonomous community exercise judicial, legislative, administrative and executive powers and functions. Typically, life at the pre-colonial time is better understood by reading Things Fall Apart by Chinua Achebe. The Aero Expeditionary Force British moved through Oweri and Mbase in 1902. When the British colonial administration was introduced in the Southern Protectorate of Nigeria, the government established a native court at Nkwagwu Nuru in 1905 and built a residence for the white men there. Dr. Rogers Stewart who was trespassing Mbase got killed and in 1906, the Ahiara Punitive Expedition led by Captains Brian Douglas and Harold Hastings started the reprisal punitive massacre of people in the area. In 1927, the colonial government introduced taxation using warrant chiefs and court messengers to collect the taxes. These colonial agents became corrupt and used taxes as tools of oppression and suppression. When the taxes were increased in 1929, it triggered the women uprising which resulted in the destruction of the native court at Nkwagwu and the sacking of the white men's residence. Subsequently, other courts were established at Itu for Izinihit, Afor Enyogugu for Ajbaha, Obahia for Ekwirazu, Orie Ahiara for Ahiara, and Uvuru for Oke Uvuru. On June 12, 1941, Mbase became a federated unit of five clans, namely, Ajbaha, Nuru, Okuato, Enyogugu, Obiangwu, and Amuohiagu, Ekwirazu, Ahiara, Izinihit, and Oke Uvuru. A common treasury was opened in Enyogugu in 1942 and it was later transferred to ABOH in 1948. Obiangwu and Amuohiagu which were constituent parts of Ajbaha pulled out in 1957 and joined NGOR Akpala. Unfortunately M. Bays was currently reduced to three local governments, namely Ahiazu result of a merger of Ahiara and Ekwirazu, ABOH M. Bays carving out a part of Izinihit West and added to Ajbaha, and Izinihit. Between 1955 and 1958, Mbase County Council under the chairmanship of Honorable Ndi Yuka initiated two landmark development projects namely Mbase Secondary School and Mbase Joint Hospital now General Hospital both in ABOH. In 1954, Dr. Aaron Ogbana who studied abroad became the first qualified medical doctor, returned home, and established the first private hospital in Mbase in 1956. Prior to this time, any sick person who needed Western medical attention either went to Holy Rosary Hospital, Amekuku Oweri or Methodist Hospital, Amachara in Umuahia. Mbase people have always been very active in Nigerian politics. The sons and daughters have rendered services as federal ministers, state commissioners, a governor, governorship candidates, a federal vice-presidential candidate, and even a presidential candidate. 
In 1946, long before independence of Nigeria, Mr. Jamaik Iwana, who was credited for suggesting the name M. Bays, led an entourage of the late Dr. Namdi Azakiwa to M. Bays before the 1947 London Constitutional Conference. M. Bays has produced four federal government ministers in the persons of Dr. Sylvester Hugo, PhD Harvard Economic, Chief IDN Woga, Oxford, Professor Fabian. N. C. Asuji PhD Ibadan, and Mrs. Chinwe Obaji. Several sons and daughters have served as honorable commissioners in Imo state governments. Dr. Sylvester Hugo was selected as vice presidential candidate while Professor F. N. C. Asuji and Dr. Alex Obi vied as the governorship candidates of Imo state, and currently drive Mrs. Ada Akwonu as the deputy governor. Chief Chinadu Izbiro vied for the presidency of the Federal Republic of Nigeria under the defunct Social Democratic Party. Air Commodore Luke Ochiller RTD, was the first military governor of Delta State. Chris Onyanwu is the first female senator in Imo State. Late Gaia Sanoka, who initiated the annual Pan Igbo Ahiajoku Lecture Series, was the Nigerian High Commissioner to Sierra Leone. Mbe's people place a high premium on education. The earliest missionary and educational activities commenced in Mbeis about 1915. Today, there are several Catholic priests and clergymen of the Anglican Communion serving worldwide. In 1934, an Irish nun established a convent in Ogbur Nuru that served Orlu, Ikderu, Okigwi and Oboo. Mbeis daughters received early education at the Regina Cayley College, Ogbur Nuru and attracted suitors from all over the former eastern region of Nigeria and beyond. Despite the fact that Western education arrived late relative to other parts of the country, Mbeis can boast of countless professors, PhDs, and different specialty graduates. These professionals are contributing to human development and progress all over the world. Some have served exceptionally well as Pro-Chancellor and Chairman of Governing Council of the University of Nigeria N. Sukka, as Vice-Chancellor of the Federal University of Technology, Oori, the Madonna University, Okija, Deputy Vice-Chancellor of the old Imo State University, as Librarian Futo, and as Registrar of the University of Nigeria N. Sukka. M. Bay's indigenes have contributed in numerous areas of economic, educational, and social development of their country. Dr. Sylvester Hugo was the first and only governor of the Central Bank of the defunct Bank of Biafra. Dr. Mrs. Agatha Dugbu PhD, OON, a lawyer, statistician, and economist served as Imo State Head of Service. Famous legal luminaries Sir Mike Ahamba, Sir Bon Nwa Kama, and Lucius Nwosu are among the first senior advocates of Nigeria in Imo State. Several others are serving as high court judges in Nigeria. The first lawyer from Mbay's chief B.S. Nizenwa was called to the bar in 1959. From the military to the police forces, you will find at the top echelon, men and women from Mbay's in command positions. During the 1967-1970 Nigeria-Biafra Civil War, Mbay's played very strategic roles. A unit of the Research and Production RAP that improvised and manufactured various scarce commodities during the blockade was positioned in Mbay's. The head of state of the breakaway Biafra, General Odamegwu Ojukwu launched the Ahiara Declaration, a blueprint for the political and economic development of the beleaguered Biafra at Ahiara. When Mbeis, where most Igbo people had taken refuge, was overrun by the federal armed forces, the civil war came to an abrupt end. Some cultural and traditional ceremonies have survived Western influence. The Ahijoku festival dedicated to the Yam deity lasted eight days. The New Yam Festival introduced in 1946 is the Christianized modification of the Ahijoku and it is fixed on 15 August every year. Oji Izinihit which celebrates the unity of the people of Izinihit clan rotates from the oldest community to the youngest Onicha. It is fixed on 1 January every year. Anecdotal evidence shows that the clan revers Oriuku in Yumunama, the market square where they believe the world was created. Ituaka Nuru is also an annual event before the farming season which according to late Ambassador Gaia Sanoka takes place to enable the people to better weather the new environment, new times and new challenges. One unique feature of Mbeis is the high fecundity among their women called Igu UKWU. To qualify to be a member of this club, a woman must have a minimum of 10 children. There is no maximum and some women were known to have given birth to as many as 15 children Agulana 2008. 
You can tell the gender of a newborn from the song of joy summoning Anye G Ego G B A N G A A U, meaning whoever has money hurry down here for a girl. The jubilant chant Anye G Egbi G B A N G A A U, meaning whoever has gun hurry down here, heralds the birth of a boy. The local salad called UGBA prepared in M Bays has a special appeal when sold in the cities because of its special taste and aroma. Similarly, the local raffia palm wine tapped in M Bays is sold out before others because of its uniqueness. In a traditional setting, these two go together like bread and butter. M Bays culture is rich in music and dance appropriate for each social occasion. According to Professor N. Woga the peak of M. Bay's cultural achievements is in its music and dance, in its song and literary skills. Every form of native Igbo dance ensemble is to be found in M. Bay's, whether it has its base in the wood xylophone, hand piano, long drum, short drum, slit drum, pot, gong, bamboo horn or calabash horn. There are dances for childbirth, marriage, funerals of old men, funerals of old women, age group celebrations, communal labor, and other forms of group or social occasion and Woga 1978. Agbacha Akorunwa dance is performed at childbirth functions, while Elijah and Agbongjaleng feature during marriage. Isake, Esi, Ekwarikwa Mgba and Nkwa Ike are for death of old men. On the other hand, Uko and Ekarivu are exclusive for death of old women. The Epe and NKWAUDU feature during the Origi M Bays and ITUAKA Nuru. A special mention must be made about Abigbo. According to Professor N. Woga, who took one of the Abigbo groups to the USA in the 1980s, the music and dancers philosophize, criticize, admonish, or praise in language expression, which not only makes its point but also pleases while it hurts. N. Woga 1978. Abigbo, Agbaragwu and Agbongjaleng are performed at the reception of dignitaries. M. Bays has produced many music legends but only few can be mentioned. Joseph Anyanajecha Iwachukwu popularly known as Jones and Chief Chrysogonus Isbiro Abina, a.k.a. Dr. Sir Warrior of Oriental Brothers International Band brought style and zeal into highlife music. Many M. Bays sons and daughters are among the celebrities in drama, theater and sports. Before the advent of Nollywood, Jegid, the husband of Akpino in the popular play Zabrudaya, made his mark. Today, there are brand names such as Kanayo O Kanayo, Genevieve Naji, and Rita Dominic N. Watoraha. Others are Oki Bikasi, Ukariah Nunobi, Ben Nwosu, aka Papa Andy, Chidi Chikire, and Ms. Fina Peters, and many more celebrity actors and actresses of Nigerian movies. In sports, the first ever female Olympic gold medalist in Nigeria is Kioma Ajinwa. Several sons and daughters have played in the national football team, the Green Eagles and the female football team, the Falcons. Inventors Chief Damien Anyanwu is a prominent son of M. Bays and a renowned inventor in Nigeria. He is the founder of Damien Anyanwu Research Center Inc. in the United States. In 1979, he built the first private operated radio station in Nigeria, known as Radio Mbase Fame. His radio transmitters were made from herbal granules stuffed in empty tins, wires and improvised local material. In 1983, he was invited by former Nigerian president, Alhaji Shehu Shagari who decorated Damien with a national award, for his outstanding contributions to mankind. He has also been honored internationally. U.S. President George W. Bush invited Damien to Washington, D.C. for a presidential dinner where he was honored by the president and his cabinet. Culture and demographics The people are Igbo. About 90% Catholics, while Protestants and other religions comprise the remaining amount. The Nikwatil dance, rump dance is common in Mbays. This is the dance used for celebrating the annual Yam festival and for propitiating the Yam god Ajoku. Ahajoku. This dance has been modified over the years to Epe, Mmanwu, Masquerade, Ikoro, Ekarivu, Abigbo to Mgba. Wrestling. Other music and dances include Agabacha e Kuru Nwa. Nkwa Omaru Nwa, Elijah, Adir, Egwu Onunwa, Ekwairikwa Mgba, Sa, Nikolink, Nkwa Ike, Nkwa Udu, Ogbongjaleng, Uko etc. 
There are also numerous socio-political titles which feature prominently in Mbays just like in other parts of Igboland. The titles include, Ease, King, Nze, Okens, Oso, Duru, Duruns, Azeji Yam Lord, and more. Some famous E's and chiefs in M Bays include Late Azeji and E's Cletus Ogbana Opero G E's O H A One of Amuzi Autonomous Community, Late Hun, Doctor N Z E J E E Barush, N Z E Udo One of Nuru Nawek, former House of Rep member, A B O H M Bays, N G O R Akpala Federal Constituency, Late E's Bar. B S C Nazenwa, Obizi L L L of Obizi and Opera M Bays. Ease Ambrose Watoraha Ease Udo IV of Nuru N Wekeoha, Late Ease Pius Ogulido N Woga of Amuokarika, Ekwarazu, Late Ease Alphonsus Aeza NKWO of Oni Chinawenko, Late Nze Desmond Io Iwuagwu Avid businessman, politician, one-time Hun. Member, Federal House of Representative, Founder of Barnix Engineering NIG. Limited Late Ease Fu Onyanwu Igwi Akajiaku of Ekwirazu and Odozi Obodo I of MPAM, Founder Fuason Industries Limited, Late Ease Lu Onyanwu Obo One of Obahia Ancient Kingdom Late Ease Ro Akena Obizi of Obizi, Late Ease Onyarialam Ease of Obodo Ujichi Autonomous Community in Ihenwiori, Late Chief Sir Geoffrey Onakogu Former President General Izinihit Development Association Ida, Chief P. E. Madu of Amuzi, Late Professor Chief Ko Onwu Uliri former Vice Chancellor. Federal University of Technology Oari, Chief Professor Emma Zaber Chigbu, Duru MMUTA Na Amami Diri of Ikuato, Ease Donatus O. Eek Ease of Akabor in Ihenwiori, Ease Cyril Akagbulam Unamka and Tuala One of Amuzi, Ease Pius Chukwamika Unamka and Tuala Two of Amuzi, Ease Stephen Nuabwes U Georgi of Lorgi N Wekeukwu, Late Ease Alex Nwokiodikwa Anugotu One of Okrika Nwek. Remembering the notable warrant chiefs that governed the land during the colonial rule are Chief Watoraha of Nuru Chief Koko Joku Ariaha of Obodo Ujichi, E. Cyril Akagbulam Unamka of Amuzi, Mbe, Ob, the first paramount ruler of Mbays and life president of Mbays County Court, and others. Nigeria is today a democratic nation, thanks to the untiring and courageous fight of our Mbay's son, Professor Edward Opera OG, who is a U.S.-based National Democratic Coalition chieftain and chairman Nigerian Democratic Awareness Committee facilitated the transfer of power from the Nigerian military to elected civilians. Professor Opera OG faced down Nigeria's worst dictator General Sani Abaka, at the height of his oppressive regime. M. Bays also boasts of her sons and daughters who have attained enviable political heights and accomplishments during this new democratic dispensation, namely Hunna Mecca Ahadioha Deputy Speaker National Assembly, Professor Mrs. Viola Anwuliri, former Minister for Foreign Affairs, Hun Prince David Matson Nuaagwagwu OFO Emo N Asia Nigerian politician, Senator Mrs. Chris Anyanwu, Engineer John Chukwu Permanent Secretary Federal Capital Territory, Center Anoruo Chisima Man Annual CMMSF. Other prominent individuals from M. Bays include Prof. Vala Kechukwu, Prof. Chinwe Obaji, Dr. Mrs. Ada Akwonu, Sir Micah Hamba, Sir Bon Nwa Kama, Lucius Nwosu. Prominent sea tours and actresses include Kanio Kanio, Yukariya Anunobi, Rita Dominic, Genevieve Naji, Oki Bikasi, Chidi Chikire, and Kioma Ajinwa. The Mbays people have festivals which attract both locals and foreign tourists, the Iwa Aqua OG Mbays, Kolonut Festival and the wildly politicized Irig Mbays, the New Yam Festival. The Irig ceremony is celebrated on August 15 every year. Iyuri Eyi Obahia which is celebrated at the second NKWO Obahia Market Day in August every has remained a foremost cultural festival for Obahia people of Ahiazu Mbays. It marked the beginning of a new calendar when Ezila Ogugo eats new yam. Today Obahia is made up four autonomous communities and they still come together to celebrate this great cultural festival. The highlight is the special UGU MMANU soup only prepared for the ceremony and the Epe dance at the NKWO Obahia Market Square. Nuru has a rich cultural festival known as Ituaka and Gurububoma Ahia Eyes. Notable educational institutions 
Topic M Bay's Secondary School MSS ABOH M Bay's Ahiara Technical College ATC M Bay's M Bay's Girls High School Onicha M Bay's Mater Ecclesia Junior Seminary Nuru ABOH M Bay's Pater Noster Secondary School Equirazu Oke Ovoro Secondary School Uviru Oke Ovoro Nuru Secondary School ABOH M Bay's Amuzi Community Secondary School, Amuzi, Ahiazu African Institute of Science and Technology Ogber Girls Secondary School former Regina Cayley Obizi High School OHISCO, Obizi M. Bays St. Augustine's Commercial School, Obizi M. Bays founded 1958 AIST Polytechnic, M. Bays High Technology University, M. Bays Equirazu Girls Secondary School, Equirazu Obahia Secondary Technical School Obahia Ahiazu M. Bays Christ the Savior Secondary School CSSS Comprehensive Secondary School Okrika Nawek Ahiazu Secondary School Ahiazu M. Bays Assam Enyogugu Secondary School Enyogugu M. Bays M. Butu Secondary School M. Butu M. Bays Community Secondary School Lagwa, previously Community Boys Secondary School, Lagwa Pope John Paul Model Secondary School Ihit Ezeogbogu Secondary School Topic Brief History Topic Before 1902, when the Aero Expedition was carried out by the British colonial powers to subdue the Aero slave trading oligarchy, M. Bays had not come under British rule. But by 1906, at the conclusion of the operation, the present-day M. Bays consisting of the three local government areas ABOH, Ahiazu and Izinihit was effectively brought together under British control while leaving in place a semblance of local authority. To keep the whole clan under effective supervision, a native court was established at Obahia in 1907 but pressure from the likes of East Sirola Kagbulam Unamka of Amuzi and Chief N. Watoraha of Nuru caused the transfer of the court to Nuru in 1909. In 1929, the Nuru court was destroyed as a result of the Igbo Women's War. Sectional courts were subsequently opened in Obahia, ITU, IFE and Enyogogu in response to the increasingly popular home rule movement of the 1930s. The coming together of the people under a common political and administrative unit was secured in 1941. By 1945 councils had been formed based loosely on blocks of autonomous communities. The group councils and their number of autonomous communities recognized in M. Bays were Izinihit 16, Ajbaha 7, Oke Ovoro 4, Equirazu 6, and Ahiara 6. Akechi 1989 179. A few more autonomous communities have been created in the past few years. It was from councils that the three local governments were created. Ahiazu LGA was a merger of Ahiara and Equirazu councils and ABOH LGA was a merger of Oke Ovoro and Ajbaha councils. Izinihit remained by itself except for the secession of two small villages, Isu Obiangu and Amuohiagu which joined Ngor Akpala from the Ajbaha area in Mbase. Topic Modern Mbise Topic Mbise's population today is in excess of 1 million people. Subsistence farming still accounts for a major part of the occupation. Yams, cassava, palm fruits, vegetables and fruits are the main agricultural products. However, since the end of the Biafra, Nigerian civil war, the quest for improved standard of living, academic excellence and the crave for enterprise have helped an unprecedented boost in the fortunes of NDIM Bays. M. Bays boasts of legions of doctors, lawyers, public administrators, educators, artists, engineers, scientists and entrepreneurs. M. Bays also has one of the highest concentrations of Catholic priests in the world. In addition, some famous ex-priests hail from the area, among the well-known ones include Ease Enyaribo Nuoa, the current traditional ruler of Yumuchi's autonomous community in Ihidiforukwu and Sylvester Ease Ebisaik, a former management consultant and prolific writer and author of numerous books and publications. NDIM Bays are avid travelers and adventurers. There is in progress a large flux to the Americas, Europe and Asia in search of new ideas to bring home. M. Bays is divided into three local government areas, namely, ABOH M. Bays, Azinheat M. Bays, and Ahiazu M. Bays. ABOH M. Bays is home to Nikwagu, one of the first and prominent markets in M. Bays. 
ABOH Mbaz is also the home of Nuru, a very prominent town in Mbaz. Ahiazu Mbaz is home to three prominent markets Afor Agba in Ahiara harboring the biggest albatoir in Mbaz land, Afor Oru also in Ahiara Mbaz and Nikoala Amuokrika which is the biggest market and known point in Ekwirazu. While the most popular market, Nkwo Mbaz is located in Izinihit Mbaz. Topic references topic M Biasi United Australia http colon slash slash com Short History of Mbase 1 Agulana EC 2008 The Embiceness of Mbase Second Ed Oeri Career Publishers 2 Joku CAC 2003 History and Culture of Mbase from Earliest Times to AD 2001 Oeri Selaju Nig Publishers, 3. N. Woga, D. I. Culture and Religion in Contemporary M. Bays. In, T. U. N. Walla, Ed. M. Bays in Contemporary Nigeria. New York, Gold and Maestro. Recommended for further reading Joku, G. 1978. M. B. A. I. S. in Pre-Colonial and Colonial Nigeria. In, T. U. N. Walla, Ed. M. Bays in Contemporary Nigeria. New York, Gold and Maestro. Chinua Achebe. Things Fall Apart. 